Hey everyone! Are you feeling like a deflated pool float? Dragging yourself around like a Minecraft villager with a broken leg? Yeah, me too sometimes. That's when the magic of the power nap kicks in. But here's the thing, naps can be tricky. You take a short one and wake up feeling like you got hit by a snooze button avalanche. Take a long one, and suddenly you're auditioning for Sleeping Beauty 2, Electric Boogaloo. First things first, your nap sanctuary. Ideally, it's a place that wouldn't make a vampire jealous, dark, quiet, and comfy. Think your bed, a couch fort, or even your car in a pinch, just don't become a napping news story, okay? Pro tip, can't find darkness? An eye mask is your best friend. Bonus points if it has a picture of a cat on it. Cats are good for naps. Science says so. Maybe not, but they're cute. Next, temperature. Your nap shouldn't be a competition with a sauna or an arctic penguin. Aim for cool but cozy. If you get cold easily, have a blanket on standby. Feeling fancy? There are even apps with guided nap recordings. Basically, a soothing voice whispers sweet nothings about fluffy sheep until you drift off. Now, the big kahuna, how long do you nap? This depends on your sleep-deprived state. Feeling like a zombie after a late-night study session? A 20-minute power nap is your friend. It'll leave you feeling refreshed and ready to tackle that mountain of flashcards. But maybe you need a deeper dive into dreamland. A 50 to 90 minute lazy man's nap lets you experience a full sleep cycle. Great for catching up after, you know, accidentally watching the entire season of that new show. Just a heads up, naps longer than 30 minutes can leave you feeling groggy. Think of it as sleep jet lag. Not fun. Nap like a boss, essential tips. Silence those notification demons. Put your phone on airplane mode, or else you might wake up to a million cat videos and a confused brain. At work? A do not disturb sign is your best friend. Nobody wants to be responsible for waking up a napping co-worker. They might unleash their inner hangry monster. Here's a weird one, coffee before a nap? Actually, it can work. The caffeine kicks in right after you wake up, leaving you feeling more alert. Just don't do it late in the afternoon, or you might be counting sheep until sunrise. Set an alarm, unless you're a sleep ninja. This helps you relax knowing you won't accidentally sleep through the day. Plus, it prevents you from becoming a champion snooze button masher. Falling asleep faster, cheat codes. Having trouble catching those ZZZs? Try the 478 breathing exercise. Breathe in for 4 seconds, hold for 7, and exhale for 8. Repeat a few times, and you might be surprised how quickly you drift off. The bottom line. Napping is a superpower, but you gotta use it wisely. Follow these tips, and you'll be a napping pro in no time. Now go forth and conquer your day, after a quick power nap, of course.